New information now on a story that was breaking this weekend involving Rhode Island's non-emergency medical transportation contractor, MTN. This afternoon, we learned from police 25-year-old Dauda Illigash was behind the wheel of a crash that claimed the life of a 77-year-old woman being transported from dialysis treatment. Police say Illigash was under the influence. As you may recall, MTM has been the focus of scrutiny for years and was fined $1 million for stranding riders. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock is tracking the new developments and what the company is saying new at 530. Matt. Mike Shannon, that crash was in Coventry, and according to police, the driver was not only under the influence, but also driving without a license. And it just took the wind right out of my sails. That was Representative Patricia Serpa's initial reaction when she heard a 77-year-old woman died following a car accident involving a driver from MTM's subcontractor. Cut them loose. Let them go. We learned from Coventry Police, the driver, 25-year-old Dauda Elagushi, who's facing seven charges, including DUI death resulting and driving without a license. The victim was taken to the hospital where she later died. It's a very disturbing news. It's horrific news. I spoke with Governor McKee before the list of charges was released by Coventry Police. All I can tell you that it is disturbing, and we're going to make sure that the, we get the answers to this specific issue. MTM says the driver was not qualified, credentialed, or an authorized driver under the subcontract with MTM. Serpa vocalizing her continued frustration with MTM. This one death is, is one too many. I say cut them loose, and if we have to pay some kind of a severance fee or a fine for breaking the contract with them, I think Rhode Islanders will be okay with that. We're dealing with a contract that we have not been happy with well, during the time I was Lieutenant Governor and continually needs to uh, be oversight and we'll find out what the next steps are, but this could, this could accelerate next steps. MTM says they have suspended the contract with subcontractor and are working to terminate the contract with them as well. But reporting in studio, Matt Paddock, 12 News.